Hey guys, this is Jen Raza from Our Change of Art, and today I'll be joining some of the gals from Hero Arts to help celebrate the release of the new catalog and some of the new products. Now, I'm not sure how much of this I can show you, but I'm very excited. Here I have a copy of the 2014 catalog, and in the very back, I know you can't see it, but I'll pretend that you can, <laughs> along with names such as Lisa Spangler and Jennifer McGuire and others, I've got my name right there. So I am sharing, or I have a project featured in the catalog, which is super exciting. Thank you so much, Hero Arts. Today I'll be making a card that uses one of my favorite techniques, which is watercolor. And at the end of the video, I'll show you one more that uses a similar technique, but just kind of in a different way. It's a lot of fun, so let's get started. I often watercolor on Bristol, but today I went for some Hero Arts uh, letterpress paper. This is the Hero Hues, and this is the white. I believe there's also a cream color that they have. So they come as 5.75, so 5 and 3 quarters by 4 and a quarter. So all I did was kind of just cut off a little bit of the end so that this will fit on the front of a standard sized card base. Now you can use this tech or do this technique with any number of supplies like watercolor pencils or you can use distress inks or distress markers, but today I'm just going to use some traditional old watercolors. So this is the part that really doesn't matter how you do it. Just kind of blob color on. I know that I've used the word blob before as a technical term, but honestly, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. And you kind of want it to grow out organically. You don't want anything to look too planned. Sometimes I'll go in straight with the watercolor. Other times I'll wet the paper first, and then I can go in and put some paint on it, and it'll kind of spread around. I find watercolor a very forgiving medium, just because you have time to play with it, and if something happens you don't like, you can just wet it again and fix it. And I'm going to be stamping over this anyway, so this will become part of the background. I don't want to incorporate too many colors. Alright, so I like what I have here. I'm just going to zap this a little bit with my heat gun because I am going to do some splattering on top of it. And if I leave it wet, what's going to happen when I splatter is the new paint is just going to blend in with everything else. So I need to have kind of like a wet on dry situation. <laughs> Okay, now to get some real good splatters, it, you need to have a very watery brush. So I'm going to grab a big old splotch of water here and make some very soupy paint. And I don't want it to be too dark, so if you add more water, it'll obviously be lighter. And just holding the brush a little bit above my project and coming down with a flicking motion, I'm going to get these splatters. I think I'll just do one more color. I'll go into some of that yellow. Now if any of the colors are too saturated, you can go back in. I just have a very uh, used and filthy baby wipe over here. But you can see it's really high concentration of color right there. And if I blot some of it up, it'll lighten. So I don't want to do that to all of those. I want to have some light and some dark. Okay, just clean up my surface a little bit. And while I let this dry, I'm going to move on to the next part of my card, which is the stamping. I'm going to be using this awesome new Hero Art set, and like I am just so drawn to the fonts and all the fun sentiments here. This is just called Yay. And I decided to do a little bit of a Jennifer McGuire technique and make a cluster of sentiments. So I'll be using my um, Fiskars stamp press and what I did was lay out the design that I wanted. 
and I just tried to see if I could get them to all fit. Luckily there were also two little stars included, so I was able to squeeze those in some of the open areas in between the words. Now I'm not going to be inking up all of these in the same color. I wanted the congrats, the plain one right here, to be black. So I know its placement just because I set it up, and now I can peel this off and stamp it later. Now, the ink that I'm going to be using for this is the Hero Arts Soft Granite Shadow Ink. I am in love with the different gray inks that Hero Arts has. And this is probably one of my most used, either the Soft Granite or the Charcoal. They are both amazing. So I'll try to ink this up really, really well. We do have a solid speech bubble as one of these images, so I want to make sure that has some good coverage. Okay, that looks like it'll be good. Make sure this is dry. Oh, there's a little wet spot right there, so I'll just go back. And you see my cardstock warped a little bit just from the, the heat tool and from the paint. So I'll flatten it out as best as I can, but all will be fixed once I adhere it to the card base later. Okay, so took a little detour there. Let me <laughs> make sure my ink didn't dry. Okay, I'm gonna line this up with the edge of that cardstock. Press it down and make sure I really get every last bit of this so I have the best impression. Fabulous. All right, now let's go back and get that congrats. And for this one, I'm going to be using the Hero Arts Black ink. And this is just awesome. If you haven't used it yet, you definitely should give it a try. You, you'll see how like amazing the coverage is. <laughs> and right in that spot that I left, I've got just enough room to stamp this last sentiment. Ooh. Love it. All right, now I'm actually almost done with the card. This is most of the focal point that you'll see. I am gonna add a little bit of black just to kind of anchor all the sentiments to the bottom of the card. And I wanted to cut like a little arrow shape at the end. Just use my scissors and cut it to a point. And I have some Tombow Mono Multi Glue that I'll use to stick this guy down there. Now I'm thinking it needs just a little more pizzazz. So the new hot item in town is the Wink of Stella brush and I have the clear, oops, Yep, this is just the regular clear glitter. And I'm gonna use this on the black. Sparkle things up a little bit. I love how this just adds the perfect amount of shimmer, nice and subtle to any project that you're working on. And it's a lot easier to use than like a big tub of glitter. And as always, I'm totally not sure if you can see this. <laughs> it may look like I'm doing nothing right now. Hmm. All right. Oh, ooh, there it is. Okay. So yes, it is totally glamorous. Now the card base I'm going to be using is one of, from one of the Hero Arts note card sets. And this one is the Blush Mixed Folded Cards. And instead of having the color on the outside, I thought it'd be real fun if this was a pop of color on the inside. 
So all I need to do is just fold the other way. Make sure these are the exact same size because now would be the time to cut it down if it wasn't, but that looks good. And yeah, since this probably isn't dry, instead of putting the adhesive back here, which I would normally do, I'm just going to put it straight onto the card. And again, since I used that thick letterpress paper, and because it's a little bit warped, I do want to put a little more of the tape than usual. And this will help to flatten everything out. And there you have it, just a fun little card here. Now since I had my watercolor stuff out earlier, I was um, experimenting with another technique. So I wanna show you this other card I did, also using some of the new Hero Art stamps. And just kind of going into the background, again, this was the Hero Arts letterpress paper. I just watercolored all of it in varying shades of pink, red, and purple, and then went back and stamped on top of it with the Hero Arts black ink in that really cool zebra print. And then the sentiment is white embossed. I used the Hero Arts white embossing powder onto some vellum. And then once that was all embossed, it was really easy to put foam tape behind all of the embossed pieces so that it wouldn't show through. And now this front panel is just lifted a little bit off of the front of the card. So here's two fun ideas using some watercolors. And I hope you check out the rest of the designers and what they did with all of the new fun Hero Arts product. And I want to thank you so much for joining me and have a great day. Bye.